Thanks. Hello everyone again. Today we will talk about sales forecast and tools that can assist you with maintaining it in QED. In preparing a projection of your company's next year revenues and expenses or operational budget, you start with sales forecast. Usually sales forecast is prepared outside of QED. So you can use forecast simulation functionality available in QED. In majority of cases such forecast which has been automatically calculated by QED requires further adjustments. When you have sales forecast in QED you can build master production schedule and calculate projected material demands which allow you to maintain low inventory levels and plan material purchases to avoid shortages. But despite these obvious benefits, sales forecast often doesn't get entered into QED. There could be various reasons for this. The common one is inability for the users in QED to mass upload or mass update sales forecast. You either need to enter forecast for each individual item for each week in a year or prepare a file that can be loaded into QED by your IT department. But even when you have got forecast in QED, it is very difficult and time consuming to review it and to modify. Another common reason is you may want to have more control over whom and when can modify sales forecast in QED. Each company does forecasting differently. Sales forecast may be created once a year and then never be changed until the next year or it may be reviewed and updated weekly, monthly or quarterly. It may be prepared for 53 weeks or 12 months. It could be one summarized forecast or separate forecast for each region, account or sales representative. At 32 Soft, we have analyzed various issues with maintaining sales forecast in QED. It looks like there is no universal way that would work for every company. Thereby, there is no universal tool for it. However, in majority of the cases, sales forecast is either prepared in Excel or can be easily exported to Excel. Excel is a very familiar tool for most business users and is used extensively in day-to-day -day operations. This is where 32 Soft Data Loader solution come handy. We'll show you a couple of slightly different tools that have been tested by our customers and proven their effectiveness and efficiency. The reason we didn't pick just one particular version for the webinar today is we want you to see different ways of entering and maintaining forecast data in QED. Project them to your existing process and processes and identify where you can make improvements and save time and resources. First tool that I want to show you today is Summary Sales Forecast Maintenance Data Loader. It allows you to mass upload or download summarized sales forecast into QED. For those of you who didn't use forecast functions in QED before, I just want to mention that there are two types of forecasts in QED. Summary sales forecast that is visible by MRP and triggers materials demand, material demands and detailed or simulation forecast that is not visible by MRP and does not trigger material demands until it is copied into summary forecast. These two different types of forecast gives you some flexibility in maintaining details of projected sales in QED. Summary sales forecast is maintained by site and item for each week within a year. This loader provides you with friendly weekly view of your forecast. As with all 32 self data loaders, first thing you need to do after opening loader template is to click on setup button and select QD database you will be connecting to. You may have more than one database in this list. To download existing forecast, you need to specify QED site 
end year and click on download button. You may also optionally limit downloaded items by production line or item range. If it's the first time you connect to QED after opening a template, you will be asked to enter your QED user ID, password and domain. Loader will check first if you are authorized to maintain sales forecast in QED and only then download from QED into Excel forecasted weekly quantities. You can review and modify downloaded quantities, make change, changes or even cross-reference quantities with uh, values with in another Excel file. So all Excel functionality is available for you here. So let me make some quick changes somewhere close to the end. So I'll add 100 here and I'll add 200 here and we'll delete this forecast. So once you made the changes, you can mass change again or you can just copy paste forecast from another file. You click on upload button and your changes get uploaded into QED. It's just a couple of seconds and your forecast already in QED. You don't need to go one by one uh, for each week for each item to make changes through QED interface. Also for each forecasted item you can look into MRP details report by clicking on MRP button. This is the forecast I just uploaded. And you can also look at the forecast report. This is the changes I have made. So this is my item and I can see it's uh, just output from standard QD forecast inquiry. Probably not many of you maintain sales forecast in weekly buckets. Um, as QED requires it. But for those who do, I would like also to show you slightly different implementation of the same weekly logic. In this version of summary sales forecast maintenance data loader, you can see some additional data and not just forecasted quantities. This version allows you to download sales forecast from the start date you specify in the header and also shows quantity on hand, past due quantities and quantity in the sales orders. This modified version allows you to revise forecast for future weeks if you have undersold forecast in the past weeks. Again, it usability of this particular version is depends on your approach to maintaining sales forecast in QED. But in many cases you maintain forecast in monthly and not weekly buckets. We have a version of summary sales forecast maintenance data loader for this too. It looks very similar to the first loader I demonstrated, but allows you to enter monthly forecasted quantities. I'm using the same um, database in this case for all these three loaders, so you can see a different representation of the data in three different um, versions of the loaders. Here, with this loader, you can upload into QED forecast in monthly buckets. The um, monthly quantity you load gets automatically split into the weekly quantities during the upload. So if you, if we will click on um, 
forecast inquiry for the for 100 in October, we can see how it's been distributed between multiple weeks. Well, sorry, it's um, it, it's a it's a quantity that I downloaded for one week. So let me put some 200 here, for example, and click on upload. So now I'm loading monthly quantity. So this quantity should be distributed into um, four weeks or five weeks in October. Let's look. Here is my October weeks that belongs to October. And in this case, the tool uses standard QED uh, logic of distributing the quantities for each week. But, so this is if you maintain in the QED summarized forecast and this summarized forecast drives materials requirements. But what if you have different people responsible for sales and forecast for different regions or customer accounts? So you don't have someone who can give you summarized forecast or uh, you don't want to allow sales users to update your sales, force, sales forecast in QED, but still want them to supply you with data for each region or customer account. For this, you can use forecast simulation functionality in QED and 32 soft simulation forecast data loader. This tool allows you to maintain multiple simulations forecast in QED. Uh, these are not visible for MRP and do not drive material demands or generate master production schedule. This multiple simulation forecast can then be combined into one and copied over into summarized sales forecast. So let me download one of the simulation forecasts we have. So this is the existing simulation forecast in our test database. To create simulation forecast, you need to specify forecast ID, year, and item number, and quantity for each item for each month. Depending on your process, you can use sales region even, or um, sales region or customer code as forecast ID and then individual users can maintain their forecast without affecting underlying data in QED and then on a monthly or quarterly basis you can combine those individual forecasts into one and copy it over into summarized forecast. So what you've seen is a generic version that can be customized based on your needs. For example, if you use um, for the forecast uh, ID region or customer record we can show for each um, forecasted month also quantity shipped for that region or customer. Or we can add um, open orders drill down for each item. So if you're a sales uh, person, you can see how much orders you have comparing to your uh, forecasted quantity. You can store these loader templates on your computer or open them from the network. Drive. and uh, or even a cloud. Excel interface of the loaders gives you a lot of flexibility when it comes to reviewing and analyzing information you work with. And you get a number of benefits by, by using these loaders to upload and maintain sales forecast into QED. I hope you've got some valuable information from this short presentation and it was, I hope that at least I gave you some food for thoughts. Now I want to pass control to Denise to start the Q&A session and you can ask your questions if you have any or even describe issues you have with sales forecast maintenance in QED.